Oh, okay. Um, a real quick video on ethanol. Not gonna waste your time. If you're trying to figure out, should I fill up or should I skip? Should I not buy E85 or E88? I say go ahead and buy it, especially if you have a newer vehicle. You're good. Okay, I just want to debunk people trying to confuse you and scare you, un unless you have an older vehicle. If you have an old 1980, 1990 vehicle, yeah, um, it may cause uh, rust, basically, right? Corrosion in your fuel lines uh, and parts of your engine. But, but if you have a newer vehicle, I wouldn't worry about it. You actually get more power, um, less fuel mileage per gallon, but you get more power and it's cheaper, okay? So we're, I'm gonna talk about ethanol in your fuel, in your engine, all right? The damage it can do, the rust basically i'm just gonna get to the point not gonna waste your time e85 can create rust and damage your engine okay i'm not trying to scare you wait before you turn this video off i just want to be clear here okay so if you have a newer vehicle don't worry about it now it will cause some damage okay it will cause some damage to your engine pistons and, and all that um they did a study back in the 80s the more ethanol you use, the more damage it does. In the sense that ethanol, what it does, it, it, it literally creates rust, okay? So they studied ethanol use and they found metals in oil, a lot of metal. They saw erosion on uh, in the engine. They did this studies on four cylinder engines, the US government did, and they found that ethanol they found metals in oil, lots of metals, okay? And now this is in the 80s, okay? If you're using a newer vehicle, you don't necessarily have to worry about ethanol. If you have a newer vehicle, the way they make your engines, the metals they use, now it's not all vehicles, you know, Mercedes, BMWs, and then you have a Kia, they're different types of engine, different metals used, okay? You're buying a cheaper vehicle and the metals are different, okay? Um, expensive metals, it's good engines are made with good metals, right? And, and, and they're crafted differently too. Not only designed differently, but the metals, the way they're shaped, the way their um, CNC operators operate on them, right? mass production and stuff, you're gonna have issues with, with vehicles, cheaper engines. Okay, now, put that aside, we're talking about fuel, we're talking about E85. E85, if you really wanna keep your vehicle for a very long time, which, you know, you don't really wanna use ethanol in your engine, okay? Because of rust, because of metals, because of corrosion, erosion uh, to your engine. Now this is not extensive damage. You're not gonna notice this. This may take 100,000 miles for you to start hearing knocking and, and stuff like that and smoke, right, burning some oil. You're not gonna notice because today's engines are designed better, okay, than in 1980s. Okay, this is when the study was done. But clearly, E85 creates water also, okay? It creates water, especially if you don't use the vehicle for a long time or it's cold and it's hot. It, it creates water in your oil and things of that nature. Uh, but if you're a daily driver and gas is expensive today, it's what, $4 now? You shouldn't have a problem filling up with 88, 50% ethanol. Don't worry about it. You're good. You are good. Now, I don't know. I mean, some people really love their vehicles. I've met people that love, I mean, L-O-V-E type love, you know? They wash their vehicle, they change their oil every 2,000 miles, where you're supposed to change your oil every 10,000 miles with when you use synthetic oil. 
some vehicles like uh, Infinities and BMWs, they require a cleaner type of engine. Okay, not because they're different, the motors are different, or they're, they're, they're special or whatever. It's just you want to make that vehicle run longer, right? And the fuel type, everything is computerized. So if you put the wrong type of fuel in your vehicle, you're going to have a misfire, you're going to have a check engine light, you're going to have a sensor light. Right, um, so you, you want to use the gasoline that's recommended by your vehicle manufacturer, okay? Because of the possible damage, not only damage, but your car may have check engine lights come. I had a BMW, and my BMW I, put, I used to put 87. I ain't putting no 89 in there, or 90, or 92, 93, whatever. I'm cheap. But then the check engine light came on, I took it in, they said, look, you cannot be putting the wrong gas in this vehicle. This is specifically, the engine specifically is designed to for um, a higher type of octane fuel. I said, all right then. And, and they literally told me, look, you can, the water in the ethanol can damage your, your lines, your fuel lines, especially if you have an older vehicle. The newer vehicles are designed to kind of withstand the uh, rust or the corrosion, right? There are different types of metals. Uh, but if you have an older type of vehicle, it can, ethanol can corrupt your um, fuel lines, your motor, right? So, it, it, you know, it's up to you. You really want to kind of think about this. But, you know, I, I personally always fill up you know, I usually always fill up with the right fuel, but lately, I gas prices are so high, I actually started filling up with 88, 15% ethanol. And my car is running good. The only thing I notice with my vehicle is that it burns fuel faster, okay? It fuel, fuel, check this out. So my fuel right now is at, let's see here. I got, uh, I just filled up for 20. So I can go for 300 miles, right? I, what I've noticed with ethanol fuel is that it burns faster, okay? You get less mileage for gas. You get more power, okay? It's not a bad fuel. Ethanol, people downplay and people disrespect. People have no respect for ethanol, but ethanol is actually pretty good uh, for power and stuff. It just has some issues like the water issue, the corrosion, rust issue, the metals and oil issue, which is not an issue if you have a newer vehicle. Like I said, you manufacture, the newer vehicle are made to withstand ethanol corrosion and all that. They use different types of metals. So the damage from ethanol is minor. Minor, so minor that you probably won't even notice. So if you're thinking about it and you can't afford $4, $5 a gallon, look, don't worry about it. Use 88. I'm getting ready to fill up again soon. But, yeah. All right, thanks.